फ्रेंड्स हम आर पिता करवा एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फाइव मॉडर्न राइटर्स एज वी ऑल नो दैट द एग्जाम्स आर अप्रोचिंग नियर एंड एवरी स्टूडेंट इज ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट वेज इन विच ही कैन क्विकली रिवाइज आई थॉट ऑफ मेकिंग दिस शॉर्ट टेन मिनट वीडियो इन विच आई कैन हेल्प यू रिवाइज फाइव मॉडर्न राइटर्स इन लेस दैन टेन मिनट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टड So the first writer I would like to talk about is Mr James Joyce. James Joyce was obsessed with Dublin. All his work centers on Dublin. He has written this fabulous work called Portrait of an Artist as a Young Man which features Stephen Dedalus who is the main character and the story revolves around how Stephen Dedalus grows as an artist. On the other hand he has written this wonderful and fabulous work which is called Ulysses and Ulysses became such a important work that every year in Dublin they celebrate Bloom's Day in order to recognize the efforts and uh, contribution of James Joyce but what we guys don't know is that Mr Joyce has also written one another important work and that work is based on a European writer Gian Battista's New Science. So Gian Battista is a European writer who has written this work called New Science and this particular work of James Joyce is based on this book. Apart from that another clue which will help you to recognize this work is that this book has a particular ending this book ends with the letter the so the is the last word of this book apart from that another important feature of this book is that this book resembles a vast musical piece and if you have still not guessed it right then i would like to tell you that the work is finnegan's wake so the next writer we are going to talk about is virginia wolf Virginia Woolf has done some tremendous work in the field of stream of consciousness. If you are wondering who has coined the term stream of consciousness, then it is William James who has coined the term stream of consciousness in his work Principles of Psychology. Virginia Woolf has written a lot of novels, especially the most notable one is To the Lighthouse, which is divided in three parts and talks about Mrs. Ramsay. Similarly, she has also written another work, which is Mrs. Dalloway, which moves across one day in the life of this aristocratic lady, Mrs. Dalloway. But what we guys don't know sometimes is that she is also remembered for a novel that she has written. which is called orlando a biography now this novel is dedicated to virginia wolf's lover whose name is vita sackville west don't get me wrong virginia wolf was married to leonard wolf with whom she started hogarth press but she was in love with vita sackville west to whom she has dedicated the work orlando The next writer is D H Lawrence. D H Lawrence has written a lot of works which were critically rejected. Especially uh, his work Lady Chatterley's Lover which was banned due to the obscene scenes which were contained in that novel. Apart from that he is extremely well known for his autobiographical work which is Sons and Lover. The Sons and Lover is a story which revolves around mother and son relationship and it uses a lot of psychological suppressed desires as a part of this theme uh, what we, we would like to talk about here is that sons and lover ke alawa dh lawrence has also written a work which is called kangaroo like very few people know about this work kangaroo is a work which was based on his uh, experience in australia so he visited australia for like 3 months and on the basis of that visit he has written the work kangaroo and also he visited mexico in uh, the last years of his life and on the basis of his visit to mexico he has written another work which is plumed serpent i wonder i have visited so many cities and so many countries but i never thought of writing a work on the basis of my visit but that is how great writers used to use each experience of their life in a very fruitful manner The next writer I would like to speak about is Joseph Conrad. We all know Mr Conrad because of his work that is Heart of Darkness. 
Heart of Darkness is a work which was based on Conrad's experience as a streamer. So he worked as a streamer and on the basis of that experience he has written the work Heart of Darkness. What is important is the last words of Kurt. In this novel we have Kurt who represents colonizer and this man dies at the end of the novel and the last words that he says is horror horror. So do note that the last words of Kurt are horror horror. Apart from that we know that Mr. Joseph Conrad was a Polish seafarer. So he went on a really really long adventures in the sea, in the ocean and on the basis of those experiences he has written a work Mirrors of the Sea. Apart from that this fellow has also collaborated with Mr. Ford Maddox Ford and has written three notable novels. So this is a homework from my side that you need to find out which are the three novels which were written by Joseph Conrad in collaboration with Ford Maddox Ford. If you find the answer then put that in the comment section below and let's see how intelligent Indian literature students are. We cannot end our discussion on modern writings without talking about E.M. Foster. E.M. Foster has popularly known for his work Passage to India. Passage to India is a novel which shows relationship of Indians and Britishers and it has got this beautiful character of Dr. Aziz. E.M. Foster has also written another novel which is called Howard's End and it is an attack on the business minded people of that time. The epigraph of this novel is only connect and this epigraph has been asked several times in net exam. So do remember that only connect is an epigraph borrowed from E.M. Foster's Howard's End. What we don't know about Mr. Foster is that he has also written a novel on homosexuality and this novel was written right after his visit to India in 1912 and the novel is Morris. So if in case you get a question in net exam asking to talk about or asking to identify correctly the homosexual novel written by E.M. Foster then I'm sure that this time you're going to answer it correctly because you know the right answer. So it is Morris. So this was a short effort taken by me in order to bring in front of you some modern writers and talk about some lesser known works of these writers. I hope that this video will help you in your net preparation. If you like this video then don't forget to give it a big fan thumbs up. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you have any questions, any queries then don't forget to post that in the comment section below. Apart from that you can also go to my website arpitakarva.com. There's a section called online course content. You can get the list of all the writers you need to study for UGC net exam in that list. You can also visit my website and give some online mock test and see how well prepared you are for the next UGC net exam. Follow me on my social media platforms so that you're notified every time I post a new update about UGC and NTA. So we'll meet very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.